Hey there! Uh, I was contacted by a viewer from Singapore and he very graciously sent me four pens. And today we'll look at one of those pens, <clears throat> and that is no other than the Wing Sung 331. Um, it's this pen, it's small, it's pinkish, and it's very fascinating. Um, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing sample. But first of all, thanks for sending me this pen, I enjoy it. Okay. Um, these pens, these are not super expensive pens, so you have to bear that in mind when you assess what it's like. But I think this is a pretty fun, funny pen that actually has some interesting things going for it. So, first of all, let's start at the finial of the cap right there. See, it's nice, rounded. Then you have a plastic clip. Always be careful with plastic clips because they can snap off. And then you have a see-through cap, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Then you have this barrel. And then at the end, there's a little uh, breather hole. Um, so you cannot actually convert this pen to an eyedropper, for those of you who were wondering. As I said, plastic clip, always be careful. You can break these things off. And, um, you know, you can also just pull them off. Uh, Chinese um, um, the Chinese pens, this, these are not particularly expensive. So these kinds of things are to be expected. You uncap the pen by just clicking off the cap, yes you can post it, which is a good thing, because otherwise for me this would not be very usable. Um, when you post it you get a decently sized pen. Uh, a very fascinating section, I must say. Uh, again, very pink, uh, with a nib that has no breather hole and a nice little interesting shape, very flat feet, as you can see. Uh, not flat feet, because a pen doesn't have feet, uh, but a feed and on there, there is a little symbol. I have no idea what it means. I don't even know if it means anything or if it's just the Wingsung logo. The pen is filled with an aerometric converter. And a um, good thing about the converter is that it reminds you that to use this pen, you should be lucky. Um, which is kind of nice. Uh, the converter can be pulled out. It has a standard international nipple, which is nice if you want to use this on another pen. Make sure to put that all the way back in there again. Um, and because it's an aerometric, you don't want this to somehow draw a vacuum, because you operate this by squeezing that bar, and then ink might actually squirt out. It's a little sack in there, it gets compressed, and then when you let go of, in, uh, of the bar, then it will draw up ink, because it, you know, uh, it draws air back up in there, or ink in this case, uh, and hence the little breather hole right there, you can see down the barrel, um, to make sure that it doesn't draw a vacuum, because then your ink gets squirted out. Um, so that's kind of nice, but no eyedropper conversion. Alright, I think that's pretty much all I can say. The section is, is pretty funky. Uh, the problem with sections like these, of course, is that uh, you have to dunk this pen in the ink, to fill it with the aerometric converter, and you can already see that I'm getting ink in those little grooves. Uh, now, of course, the simple solution is to take out the converter, fill that directly, then put it back in, but then the feed isn't really primed, so then you might have to dip uh, the nib and feed into the ink to, to get a good uh, ink flow going. Uh, and, of course, if you just take a, a soft, wet cloth, like a tissue or something, uh, and then you just wrap it around here, then you should also take out the ink residue. Okay, uh, question is, how does the pen write? Well, it writes, uh, it gives you quite a bit of feedback, I think, but it's not terrible. For a very fine nib, uh, I have definitely used um, more scratchy Chinese nibs. The uh, Gwen Le Ming 2001 comes to mind, which is definitely very feedbacky, uh, and this is kind of okay. I mean, don't expect a super smooth writing experience, but again, at this price, that is kind of to be expected. Um, but it's definitely not terrible, uh, especially if you use good smooth paper, Rodia, Clairefontaine, something like that. Uh, you should be pretty safe. Okay, so that's it about the pen. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I think it's a pretty nice design, and I, I have to say, I think it's a little girlish. I think there are a lot of uh, girls that would like this sort of pink uh, pen. Um, what I really like is this see-through um, cap. So, pilot, pay attention. If you make a see-through cap, make sure it's completely see-through and make sure there's not a little annoying white or gray inner cap that blocks view of the nib. 
if Wing Sung can do it for this very inexpensive pen, then I'm sure that Pilot you can do it too. It is very cool to be able to see the nib. Does it have any function? Not really. You can't really see the ink level with this, but it's just fun. I think it's cool. It's a nice little size, easy to put in a shirt pocket or something. It won't stick out too far. For those kinds of purposes, it's pretty cool. Things I don't like about it, very plasticky feel. It's a bit cheap. As I said, uh, if you want to uncap the pan, you're not careful, you might accidentally pull off the whole finial with the um, uh, clip attached. But hey, you kind of get what you pay for in, in these cases, I think. And to, in all honesty, it's a decent enough pen. So that's what I have to say about that. Let's take a couple of measurements before we do writing sample. I have about 126 millimeters capped. It's a small pen. Uh, uncapped, of course, it's even smaller. Uh, zip -a -zip -a -zip -a there we go. It's 112 millimeters uncapped. Section diameter at the narrowest point is about 8 millimeters, and at the very widest point, it is a good 12 millimeters. It's very strongly tapered. Now, as to weight, I don't expect too much. And there we go, 10 grams, so it's a very light pen. I think that's more than enough talk. I think we need to see this pen in action. So, thanks a lot for sending me this pen. I appreciate it. Um, let's see how it writes. I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here we go with the Wing Sung 331. The nib is fine, and the ink, I should have chosen one with a shorter name, is Ackermann Maurits Haus Magenta. It's a nice magenta which I thought fit the pen quite well. The paper is Clairefontaine. Okay, let's do a bit of writing. Um, the nib is not horribly scratchy, but I have to say it definitely gives a lot of feedback. Ballpoint user at the door, the dogs go ballistic. Okay, let's do a bit of fast writing. You do note a couple of skips, um, but uh, that's it's not terrible, but there are some skips. Um, as to wetness, also a uh, property of the, the paper and the ink, but this is paper that allows for some pretty wet writing because it's quite smooth. Uh, you see it's not the wettest of nibs. As to line variation, uh, there definitely is a little bit to be had, but not a whole lot, I would say. Uh, although there definitely is some. Okay, let's do a bit of reverse writing, turn the pen around, get a super fine line. That works pretty well with this pen, same as with the uh, Wing Sung 333. So there is that, it's something you can do um, uh, to get an even finer line, but of course this nib is very fine to start out with anyway. Okay, so here you have these pens. Uh, or this this pen. Uh, thanks a lot for sending this one to me. I enjoy it. I think it's a funny little pen. Um, I hope you thought this was useful, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye.